Okay, now I'm going to set up the fixture plate in Mach 3. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the setting, the offsets tab, and I'm going to go to, uh, normally you're just in G54 if you're not doing fixtures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select fixture 2, which is G55, and then ref all hum. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in my probe. Uh, I'm using an edge finder uh, to set my zeros. And over here where it says tool, I'm going to change that to tool 1. That's what I'm using as my probe. All right, now I'm going to set my zeros. Okay, set Z is zero. Come back up. Uh, I'm using a, an edge finder, and I've already set up my uh, diameter on it, so I'm going to select this side. Okay, I'm going to select here for my Y. Okay. Okay, so I've set zeros. And then I'm going to go down to here to save work offsets. And that's G55. These are the coordinates here for the offsets. I'm going to give this a name. I'll just call it a fixture plate. Fixture plate. Click save and close. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to actually close Mach 3 just to make sure that, you know, when I save it and, you know, you close it out when you come back the next time to actually uh, make parts uh, that it's saved in there. So I'll go ahead and close it. And session, yes. Uh, it's already saved. Then I'll open it back up again. And reset. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the offsets page. Select fixture 2. And I'm going to ref all home. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the program run and I'm going to load the G code. And I'm going to go to the test 2 and open. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the probe that I stuck in there. And I'm going to check through the G code to make sure there's nothing strange in there. Depending upon what program you're using, uh, you may have a program that slips in the uh, G54, which is going to take it right out of G55. So I had to do this actually for this one here. So I'll, in order to edit this, you can just go to Edit G Code, and you can look through it. Um, see if there's not all this stuff doesn't even need to be in here, like the M5 and M9. Uh, don't really need those. Those are, uh, I think it's coolant and stuff. Um, let's see. X, uh, looks all clean. So I'll just close that. And it's reloaded it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cycle start. And now it's asking me for my center drill. Put my eye protection on. I'm going to put my center drill in here. Pull the pin out and then start it up. I'm going to click OK. And then cycle start. Turn the spindle off. Now it's asking for the next tool, which is going to be my 1364th drill for a quarter 20 tap. I'll put that in. And start the, put it back up. Click OK. And cycle start. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, there it is. Let me uh, take it out. You can see I got uh, two perfectly centered drilled holes all the way through. Now when I want to drill the next one, I simply just put the next one in. Tighten the screws there, hold it down. I'll uh, pull this one out. And then hit cycle start. It lasts for the center drill again. Quick uh, cycle start. I won't go through the whole process of drilling all the other holes, just to uh, just wanted to show you that it can be repeated over and over again. So, alright, that's it. One other thing to mention, if you're using a fixture plate and using the M6 dart uh, that I have in my other videos, uh, this figure right here, this Z location, will actually make it rapid down to a quarter of an inch above the work, above the uh, the fixture plate, if you've set your zeros on the top of the fixture plate. So if you've got parts that are up higher than that, uh, you're actually going to have to increase this. My parts are usually only like a quarter inch, a half an inch tall. So I actually set this, uh, changed this to 1.25, I believe it was. Uh, if you have taller parts, you may need to set it even higher than that. Uh, but uh, just a reference uh, about that. All right.